We will discuss the cockpit voice recorder. The cockpit voice recorder records and retains the last two hours of the direct conversations between the crew members in the cockpit, all the oral warnings that sound in the cockpit, all radio communications, and all crew intercommunications. All passenger address announcements are also recorded if the PA reception knob on the number 3 ACP has been selected on. The cockpit voice recorder consists of a built-in microphone on the overhead panel, a hot mic function that records the crew members' voices directly from their microphones, a control panel on the overhead panel, and the crash-proof four-track recorder located in the aft section of the aircraft. Attached to the recorder is an underwater locating beacon that is activated if the recorder becomes submerged. The recorder controls are located on the left side of the overhead panel. With the ground control switch in the auto position, the CVR is energized on the ground only during the first five minutes after electrical power has been supplied to the aircraft or when at least one engine is running. It is powered at all times in flight. After landing, it is de-energized five minutes after the last engine is shut down. When it is desired to power the CVR on the ground for maintenance tests or to record checklist usage before engine start, the ground control push button should be momentarily pressed on. The blue on light illuminates. When the CVR erase push button is pressed for two seconds, with the aircraft on the ground and the parking brake set, the tape will be completely erased. When the CVR test push button is pressed and held, it will test the system if it has been energized and the parking brake is on. A low-frequency signal will sound through the two cockpit loudspeakers. Touch the test push button to test the system. In this lesson, we have discussed the cockpit voice recorder.